player is. All right, we took out the the roaming group also, right? So we have, man, those roamers are so bad. I can't even see that this is a a, a collapsed mine. Like I I died here. Uh, trying to go up and kill those two groups, but I didn't see this was a collapsed mine. <laughs> this is so bad. Jesus. Alright, what are we doing? Are we trying a fortress? Scavenger versus scavenger, yes please. Mm, yeah, what's up, kitten bro? Uh, vote react to the old fort maps on Discord. Figure out which to bring back. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a look. <laughs> Sticks up their assets, yeah. <laughs> the good old horizontal banners. Alright, can we do a champion here? And can we get a champion stack? I really want it on PP Killer. And to make sure he gets it, I should get the priest with him. Maybe Sono and, Soma and him can do it. Now, I want the priest for the Aegis, right? Mm. He will attract so much attention with his 300 HP. Like, everyone in range will try to get to him. So, there's a chance that they will just band up together and, like, smack him really hard. Mm. The responsible thing to do is bring all four. But I really want the champion stacks. Does he even have one yet? I don't think he does. No, someone else has it. I think Soma has one. Yeah, he has one champion stack. Acid's looking mighty fine right now. Mm, not really. <laughs> Just need to go down far enough. <laughs> hey, what's up, Travent? What is this? This is Urtok. Um, this is my main game. So to speak, I have like 800 hours in this game. It's um, it's a turn-based a grid game. Um, it's kind of like it's been compared with Battle Brothers. I usually say it's XCOM without the RNG. Um, it's like the same tactics as XCOM, not as much as Battle Brothers. It plays pretty differently. It only has like the band aspect to it, and you run around and kill people. Or like have battles all the time but it's more like XCOM in the in the tactical sense but you don't have like the RNG hits every hit in this game is guaranteed uh, there is no crit RNG you generate crits with specific things with backstabbing with like focus and stuff and it's just your usual you have like classes this is a marksman this is an assassin spearman with a shield it's a hammerman a warlord who can ram you with his big axe with a priest and we're doing a challenge run where we only run villagers <laughs> 8k no not 8k 800 not 8000 is it eight? yeah yeah 800 <laughs> 8000 would be a bit much so you're building up a militia yeah kind of so the storyline is your urta so you're actually a character in this, right? This is our Urtog, I just renamed him. Um, and you wake up in a sanatorium and there's one guy helping you escape. And then suddenly you have strange mutations affecting you. And your body changes and you get like those mutators, those like traits kind of. And you're looking for a cure, like you have no idea what happened. And you're looking for a cure and uh, those bounty hunters are chasing you uh, all the time they are sent by the sanatorium to drag you back in and that's kind of all you know and then you go off on your own and run around the world and fight stuff and get stronger and look for a cure and then you like find hints and then you need to go to other maps and eventually i mean that's kind of spoilers but eventually you uh you find where to go Mm, this is like the the mechanic of the game, the mutators. This is one of 
So the best point about this game is the battle, uh, the battle system, but also the the mutator system is kind of cool. So you have your traits here. You have active abilities. Everyone can attack. This is an active ability called lead. Um, it attacks and then it gives everyone around the target and uh, and like an opportunity attack kind of. This is a priest, so he has like things like sacrifice, which heal people, or Aegis, which negates uh, the next attack on someone. And he pays with this in max HP. So this costs 40% of his max HP, for example. And then he has traits. And he, he comes with a feast trait. So uh, whenever an enemy dies, he heals 27% of his max HP back. And then he can spend them again on... Uh, on his abilities which cost max HP and then he has like three slots here and those are the muted as you find so for example um, I have a stalwart here so I can equip this and now he is immune against pushing and pulling and grabbing and lifting and stuff like that so he is immune against uh, displacement like being pulled out of position and I can put this in here and I just gave him this trait. This is stalwart now, here. And if I pull this out, he doesn't have it any longer. So you have three slots, and you can give them traits. And you can like combine uh, cool ones, right? Like hastening crits and poisonous crits. Now when he crits, he speeds himself up and he poisons the other, uh, the other person. And you can play around with this, and then you can absorb them. Like if you wear them long enough, you can, uh, they become part of your body. And then they disappear here and you have them permanently and then you can throw something else in there and you have like focus abilities which are your ultimates uh, when your focus bar gets full you can use them and you have stuff that interacts with your focus so your sudden strike when you get full focus you attack a nearby enemy in melee range so you can build like focus characters which like interact with building the focus and then uh once you reach full focus, they do cool stuff. And you have like super fun combinations and stuff. There's there's a lot going on, right? I just want to show like the deaths. Like, first of all, the death. And second of all, like the mutator stuff. Anyways. Hey, what's up, Hellsmile? How you doing? Not sure if the game has been out long enough to have 8k hours in it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> the game is uh, still in early access, right? Um, have Darkest Dungeon shivers in this inventory? Yeah, it's um, it's very Darkest Dungeon-y, like the art style. But the gameplay is not really. Uh, you're not gonna see much gameplay here. So, I'm debating. Um, this is a special battle. Um, this is the bl they have those blue um, banners uh, and those those are the red banners and they are two competing scavenger bands right now and they're fighting each other and I'm trying to clean up and I have four people but I only want to send two in if you only send two in you have a chance of unlocking the champion um, where is it the champion trait did Renta Cat not have one I could swear he had one. Huh, guess not. Um, the champion. Um, if you win a very hard battle, which means soul survivor against three enemies or two survivors against six enemies, um, you get this one. And if you get three stacks on it, you get plus ten percent damage and plus ten percent max HP, and you unlock the elite skin. I don't think there's an elite skin for villagers, by the way. Um. And since this is a battle where they fight each other, it's a very good one to unlock this. But since he is low HP, he's gonna be a magnet for everyone. So there's a good chance I die here because I'm being greedy. But I'm gonna try it anyways. All right. What do you think, chat? Red or blue? Who's gonna win? Hmm. Let's watch. I hope they don't come towards me. I hope they they kill each other. Alright, good. <laughs> he pushed him in a death pit. 
So the uh, this is a death pit, a death zone. Whenever you're pushed into it, you just die instantly. And he stood next to it, and he has an ability called Ram, um, which has a range of three and can ram one person one tile. And he rammed him into a death pit, and then he just exploded and died. The environment is very interactive. Those are spikes. They cost 15% max HP to walk over. Those are slow tiles. They cost you speed and give and make you more vulnerable. The death tiles just kill you. If you get stuck, if you get pushed into a wall, you get stunned, and everyone gets crits on you. Uh, this is uh, this is this is tall grass, and it reduces the range damage you take by 25%. And I think there's something I missed, but right. Let's hope he does still doesn't come to us. They're just slapping each other. Um, he just got backstabbed and uh, he pushed him. So he bashed him. He has an ability called bash. Uh, push enemy to hexes. But he pushed him into his ally and that triggers a retaliation attack. So he bashed him into his ally and he hit him again. And both were crits because, well, bash wasn't a crit because it's an ability. But he got a crit because he backstabbed him. It was like a cool interaction. I wanted to find out. Alright, he's coming here. Uh, I just realized that we don't have crits. So this is gonna be actually hard. Depending on who survives. Like, our crit producing guy is not in here. Our focus guy. Red is kind of wiping the floor with them. Uh, we have one more blue, two more blue, Jesus. Yeah, this is kind of rough. And now I'm backstabbing him, which means I get a crit. Uh, you don't get a crit chance, you just get guaranteed crits when certain conditions are met. This one, both get a crit because we backstab him. I lead strike him, which is an ability from the beast, and he gets an extra attack from lead striking. So I go, he goes, both crit, but since I have like super weak layout, I don't really do much damage. I have villagers, which are not meant to be fighting. This is a very gimmicky run, <laughs> if you haven't noticed yet. Alright, got him. Well, at least blue has, um, blue has two hammermen, but this hammermen just got backstabbed by the assassin. Who speci uh, specializes in backstabbing? That's his thing. He's very strong at it. Mm. Yeah, blue got slaughtered. I might have to run and come back with my full team here. Not gonna lie. I'll be back after eating. Hey, no problem. <laughs> I vote for blue. I voted for red. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually pretty hard to see, huh? Alright, so it's two versus four. Can we take this? We have one assassin. Uh, one marksman. Hmm. I think we have to run. Do we? Man, I really want this marksman, uh, this champion stack, but I don't think we can get it. I mean, we still have Angel's Pact and the model on him, right? And we have Angel's Pact on him, so we should at least try here. Where are they going? Why are they going up there? Oh, they really want this guy, huh? Uh, Yeah, they really want them. Fuck, I... I didn't mean to not lead attack here. How much do you do? 130? I would like to tank 130. That's okay. He didn't reach. So it's 2v3 now. Maybe we can do it? The major problem is both have armor and I don't have crits. I cannot have bleeding. Outside of Aegis Retaliation. 
It's a major thing. Hmm. So I do want to prop. So I do want to prop the Aegis on him, and then he shoots me, which is fine. I can tank his shot without any problem whatsoever. He wants a concentration. He shoots him. That was unusual. But sure. We want him dead. Um, we have to make sure that he does not get a backstab here though. Which is why we position like this. It's painful healing. He does not have overfocus yet, which is good. Let's keep moving this way, keep moving on this guy. He wants him, it's perfect. We have four Aegis. Uh, keep moving from him, maybe he wants to walk around it to him. Ah, I messed up. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is his angel's pack. Shit. Oh my god, I messed up. Double pack. He gets out of it, but holy moly. That was terrible. <laughs> huh. Here's 215. He will block his hit, so he will be okay. Does he get overfocus? I don't think he will get overfocus. Okay, good. He hit him instead. We need to get the the hammer man. I think he gets um, an Aegis here. Nope. Far from it. I should have concentrated concentration him. 319. The egg is this attack and then just slap him. Hmm. Gets Aegis back. There's the overfocus. I need to get out of here. It's very hard to get out of here though. Because this is a backstab tile and he's in, he's like controlled and stuff. I think I just smork here. Do I Aegis him? I think I Aegis him. I might have needed it for my priest though. This might have been a mistake to do that. Alright, he needs to get out of there. Pretty badly. And he probably has to tank with his Angel's Pack now. <laughs> yeah, there's Angel's. He still has um, a model. Okay, there's a model. Um, he needs to go, he cannot come back. He has uh, 168, I have 198 health. So I can tank one, but most likely he's gonna slow me down. So he could come in though, right? Mm -hmm. 168. I want him to hit my priest, because my priest gets uh, an Aegis this way. I, he smacks him and he gets an Aegis from, over, uh, from focus. Let's wait out his attack on the Aegis first. Then he tanks one hit. Okay. I think he tanks one hit and... Mm, maybe he Aegis is it actually. And we have him. Jesus. Does pushing crit get blocked by armor? No it doesn't. But immobilizing crit does. Pushing crit always hits. Even uh, with armor. 
Uh, it does not go ag off against Stalwart though, of course. So if the enemy has Stalwart, it doesn't help you. Alright, you've proven that you're one of the best fighters out there. Oh baby, the game knows. Your parents on the battlefield is not terrifying. So again, 10% damage and 10% max HP, progress 1 out of 3. Both get a stack. Alright. Best stick fighter. <laughs> We get Aegis focus? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, this was changed. I, I didn't even notice. The text was changed. Minor environmental damage, less than 15% max HP, or status effects will not stop this effect, but Aegis is consumed. Huh. Interesting. So, it's different now, huh? Less or equal than 15% max HP. So it still applies to spikes. No, it's the same. It's just more clear. Hmm. Throat cutter. <laughs> Alright. What else can we do? Swamper village? We probably cannot touch that. Maybe a fortress. A famous armorer. Oh, baby. We spawned another one. Give me this villager. I sense another member. Oh, no. It's volcano time. Oh, my God. Why does it have to be volcano time? If I fight him here, do I fight him in the village? Let's find out. No, that's a normal map. Please, volcano, be kind. I have my full group here again. Round strike, round strike. Oh my god. This guy is disgusting. <laughs> He's gonna solo me. I cannot deal with him. It's 400 armor. I cannot break through 400 armor. That's so pathetic. <laughs> you look at 400 armor and you actually know that you can never deal with it. I don't know. What do I do? I probably have to kill everyone. But I think if I back out, the villager is gone, right? <laughs> We're assembling a villager army? Exactly. <laughs> That's the fourth one. But this is the problem. I can deal with, uh, with everyone else, but not with this guy. There's no chance. Maybe. I have to, I have to keep him for last. He will still be annoying. I can, I can probably, I can most likely get around him, uh, like get around his round strikes and not get hit by it, but he still has his normal attack. His normal attack still slows and does 250 damage. Ugh. Also, the map is not very great. Also, there is a volcano. We have to find out where the volcano is, to be honest. We're gonna go up here. We're, we're trying to, anyways. If the volcano is in a bad spot, we run. Instantly. So let's find out. You don't see it after the first person moves anymore? Do we see it after the second? There we go. Alright, we're out of here. This is not this is nothing we fight. Fuck this. We just move those two people back and then we run. And we reset the map. This is exactly where we want to be, and now the volcano spawns here. And we cannot fight it anymore. I fucking hate volcanoes. <laughs> Man. Alright, try again. <laughs> Let's go angry mob. <laughs> uh, wow. They're scattered beyond belief, huh? This guy's here. We can move on to those two. 
Um, we do want to fight up here, but we can go here and kill those two and collect them and then we go here and abuse this one. But again, Volcano, we cannot say for sure. Uh, we can move twice and then we see where the Volcano is and if it's in the wrong spot then we run again. Man, Volcano is fun. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? I bet you are. This is for those guys coming up. Hmm. I don't super want to melee engage here, but we have Tyrant Crits. It's up there. Can we fight this? Yes and no. It's very good against the Hammerman. I think the Hammerman won't come for a while, right? And he will stand on the volcano. So that's actually a good chance to to burn him to death. I, I think we fight this. No, he's instantly triggered. Oh, because I ran again. Yeah, I ran once already. Can we still fight it? The thing is, we needed this... Um, we needed this choke point. Uh, we can stall him into the volcano, right? Like, we can stall those two people into the volcano by holding this choke point and then they burn to death. I think we can do this. We have to go into him. Uh, we cannot get backstabbed though. So we actually have to do it like this. I think we leave one here. Pow. Goes in two. He goes here and swaps probably. Uh, this means he goes here. No, no, we, we cannot send here. Well, we can. He goes first, right? But he has no way out, so he will stand here. Now nah, we cannot. We cannot be here. He's gonna get a crit on us. Which means he will tank this hit from him with. Uh, with delirium already. Uh, there's not much we can do. Actually, he's gone now. So now we can step here. Poison him also. There's the del delirium tank. Now we want to go here. And. This guy will move after us now, right? This has been changed, so he no longer kills the the guy in front of him, but he kills us. Get a free DSS from our high DPS. <laughs> high DPS in quotes. He wants the crits. He goes in 7, he goes in 5, he hits him once, and to Aegis, and then he gets hit again by him for 198, which procs him. Oh, that's bad. Uh, Soma has to do something about that. We can't really let that happen. Alright, he's gone. Okay, let's go. We have to block them. They have to stay here for the volcano. That's our win condition. That's our way to deal with this stupid ass guy. Um, let's get the assassin first. It's gonna be pretty easy to take down. He's the one who will have to block him. Um, I think. Fuck. Uh, I will need the Aegis here. He will not reach yet, right? Yeah, he can't ram me yet. So this should... Alright, let's kill him. Okay. He will be blocking him. Huh? 
This is a very bad spot. This is exceptionally bad. Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> He's in trouble. Um, I have to get out of here. I also cannot tank his round strike, right? As much as I want the backstab on him, I cannot send that. He survived with 8 HP, so he actually has all his stuff intact. So, it's a worthwhile... Um... I guess. He has poisonous crits. My organs! He's coming for us, Monkers. Um. Hmm. I can't get him out of there, so he gets round struck. Fuck. Yeah, there's not much I can do. He has to tank one round strike, I think. <sighs> he does hit him. Fuck. I have to get down there then. Yeah, this is getting ugly. Also, <laughs> he's in such a bad spot. Oh my god. At least he breaks his armor now. He has 85 helmet. Uh, he's gonna bleed him now and get him down much quicker. He has to be here, probably. We get him into position, so he goes here. We just have to lure him away from the villager. We can tank him for a few turns. Oh, that's done. Oh, that was bad. He, he, he has un he has angels unlocked already. But he cannot move from round strike guy anymore. Oh boy. Uh, maybe he can tank a round strike for him. Hmm. I think he has to tank him a little bit more. He slowly goes down there, right? Okay. That's not bad. He has an Aegis. This is a solid object. He goes back and rams me into it. But I can't really afford to not do anything. So I have to take the risk. Right. Yeah. He didn't tank a uh, round strike, unfortunately. So he goes ahead of him one more time. I can Aegis him here. Jesus Christ. He is also my Mocker's Mark guy, right? This is going south so quickly. <laughs> He's not doing anything. He's the new guy. If I go here, then he backstabs me. I really want to go here to... He's gonna go here and ram me and stun me. Oh my fucking god. Yeah. Rip. At least I got a good Mokka's mark. This was first packed, right? First packed. He's gonna proc his invincible here. Okay. There's no real reason to practice. Well... It's gonna slow him down, so the Warlord will go before him. I cannot reach the Warlord before he goes. Shit, this is so bad. <laughs> uh, I was caught out of position before I could get there and abuse this. And I could also never u make use of this volcano thingy. We're gonna wipe here, most likely. I don't see a way out of this. Like, every one of them takes so long to kill, and all of my people are in so bad, such bad spots that... I don't know. Even the Aegis here doesn't do anything. Like, he has three attacks coming in. 
uh, he will double hit him because of round strike. So he has four attacks coming in before he goes. He will go after this guy because he will get slowed down by the round strike. Or uh, by the mace. So, by the mall rather. So I can, I can shield one hit, right? Um, the first hit will proc his angels first time. The second will proc his second one. Then I can shield one attack, but the fourth one will get him. And I have no way of... Like, I can... I can probably sacrifice and Aegis. I don't think I have the health for it. No. <laughs> I don't think I can do anything to save him. Actually, he will um, he will ram him here, right? He will always ram him here, which means he will not get his attack off. So if I shield the ram, then he just procs double angels. I think this is doable. Then I do this. This double angel. And it's his turn, but he's immobilized for three turns. He has immobilizing crit, so he was stacking immobilizing on me. <laughs> he's not gonna make it. He's never gonna make it. Alright, he throws triple traps here. Where are the most impactful traps I can throw out? Hmm. Probably just throw those three. Okay, his bleeding is gone. He has a retaliate. <laughs> uh, there's his immortal gone. No, he has some. Um, he has bleeding crits. It's a problem. Yeah, the bleeding will proc the immortal, right? He will hit me. This will be second angels. And then it will be his turn, but he is bleeding. So he procs the Immortal on his turn, which is especially bad. If I hit him, then... He... I won't even kill him with this crit. <laughs> he will just retaliate. Jesus. 150, and that will proc me, so... I have to do it on rent a cat I think. I have to go here and wait here. And then I lead strike and kill him with this. As angels, and then he will bleed, and that will proc his immortal. This will kill him, I will get one retaliate, and kill him. There's a model, and I proc the immortal heal. If I stay here, he will, um, he will ram me into there again. If I go in here, it's pretty bad. I really want to, I really want to hit him, but <laughs> I think I have to do this, actually. Yeah. All right. All right. That's good at least. Timeline minus four. That was his angels though, right? <sighs> he has 260. He has 266 damage. He will not go after PP killer actually. So he might have a chance to smack this hammerman. He will go after the priest. I need to confirm that the priest has one left. Uh, one angel's pack left. Renticat has one time. And then nothing else happened to him, right? This was the ram. Was this the ram? Resist stress. <laughs> I think this is a player cannot panic kind of deal. Uh, Warlord, this guy. Yeah, this was the ram. Okay, okay. And then nothing else really happened, right? Not to the priest. Hammerman hits priest for zero damage by damage of. Yeah, by Aegis. 
Yeah, yeah, he got an Aegis and then, okay, he still has one. So I want to bait... Fuck, but he's taking his turn. Is it still gonna be active or no? Uh, hang on. Got him. Alright. He will heal for a lot. His mending is 600, so he will actually heal for 600. Uh, 501. Over two turns, so he will. Mm, he won't heal enough to tank this. Fuck. He has 260. He has 194. So he probably will go after him if I don't give him this target. Does he still have angels? He has angels. It's will be gone. I think I retreat to here. Um, I give him this attack and I hope he can solo him. This is my hope. And then I retreat behind this line and use those mockers mugs. I really need to use them well. But one will come and then we'll, pr we'll trigger the trap, right? Hmm. Maybe I can make use of his ram. So he rams over the trap and then he comes in behind. Maybe. How much does he do? 230. 230 I should heal enough to be able to tank once. But I really want to go here and hit him twice. Like I can hit him three times actually. This would be so big to actually hit him. It's such a shame that my poison died. I have one Aegis here. I don't think I will have enough to Aegis with the priest. This is a very complicated spot. There are a lot of options. Hmm. I can give him a different target with the priest, I think. But maybe the priest heals too much to be a target. And he will always be the target. He has nothing left. He has no angel spec, no delirium, no immortal. He only has the one... Um... Wait, he doesn't have an Aegis right now. He needs this Aegis then. Yeah. He does need this Aegis for this hit. <sighs> okay. So what are we doing? Like, we can go here, right? For example. I think the priest will have lower HP than the villager. And the priest can go here, and he can get rammed. So the priest will end up here, and the warlord will be there. And then this guy comes up, and we can use the mocker's mark. But then I cannot really protect the priest. I think I just have to do this and hope for the best. I just smoke him real hard. And the priest uh, tanks one hit from him, and then we will see. I don't know, priest probably dies or something. Do this. Two thirty. So we do this one. He goes in eight. One fifty six. Shit. But then he goes over. He totally goes over and and bonks my priest instead of him. And then his bleeding thing will go will be gone. I guess Aegis will be gone to bleeding, which will be very bad. Oh, this is terrible. He cannot be here. He has to go back there. He has to be somewhere where the Warlord cannot reach him and he cannot reach him. So it's probably this. He has to do this. Wait, why would he... Why would you ever do that? That didn't make any sense, did it? <laughs> okay. Sure. Um, unfortunately, he did not hit him, which means Aegis is now gone to bleeding. So he only has 313. Um, he will hit him, and he will probably have to back off. I think I need this hit. This is so important to get. Alright. 126. He needs one more hit to die before bleeding. 
and before he gets his turn. So I need I need to do this. There's no option. And then I have to see. He's immobilized and he can walk he can walk away from him. That's perfect. Um he has a retaliate. He has two retaliates. He only has stamina for one retaliate though. Mm. And I have 400. So I can tank one. Okay. That's pretty good. How many crits do you have? You have two crits. You have four crits. You have two crits. Everyone has crits. Everyone has concentrate. All right. So we're gonna hit him. He's gonna retaliate. We're gonna painful heal this villager. And then he's gonna get an, a hidden. Then he goes up here and he gets a hidden. But then that's not enough, is it? And then he hits my priest and he dies. Any other options? Not really. I made my move already. I cannot... I cannot Aegis or Sacrifice. He doesn't get full focus. He will never get full focus here. Especially not since he has armor. I can sacrifice my villager instead to him. He will always take the villager, right? No. He will get painful healing, so it will be the priest who is gone. Do I need the priest to survive? He really wants this crit on him. But he can get it later. He's immobilized for one turn. I think we need this. And now he's gonna kill the priest. 160. No, he's gonna kill the villager actually. He has less HP. He's immobilized. Oh, he had angels packed still. Wait, I didn't consider that. Wow. I wanna say that was on purpose. <laughs> Let's pretend this was on purpose. Um, if I hit the Warlord here, do I get full focus and an Aegis? This is hard to tell. Um, focus generation depends on the multipliers. So you get less focus generation if you hit armor, which he has. And you get more focus if it's like non-armor. You get more focus for a crit, which we have. But I think we don't quite... So there's no like scientific way to tell this. It's more from experience that I say that I don't think we get a full focus bar if we hit him. Or like if we crit him. We do want him to walk up here and smack him. He will go up here and kill my villager. And then he will go after and he will hit my priest. But that's okay. He will die. Hmm. What do we do? We want the bleeding here really badly. I think he will always go here and smack him. Unless we can kill him in time, which I don't think will happen. And I don't think it even matters, right? Nah, I don't think so. Maybe it's enough. There's also the, op the possibility that he walks up and I get a brother in arms. And I get full focus after that. He did get it. He did exactly get it. It's at zero. <laughs> okay. Um, which means we can probably save him. Can we? So he will walk up. I can Aegis him. His angels is gone. Uh, I can walk him out of range. Like if I go here... Uh, he would be melee engaged here, so he has to go 1, 2, 3. Right now he can reach. If I go here, he cannot reach. 
Right now he hits into his Aegis and then he cannot kill anyone, right? He has 230. I Aegis him and he hits him and nothing happens. Yeah. Yeah, that's the play. Maybe we keep everyone alive here. Maybe. Does he go here or here? Does it matter? I want the bleeding on him. And the Aegis counter strike will proc the bleeding also. But does it matter if he's here or here? I think he wants to be here. We have crits on everyone from critical strike, so we don't need backstabs. Alright, we had some. Okay. 230, he survives a hit from him, so we kill him. And he just walks away. Okay, 244, they both can survive one hit from him, so they don't have to be scared. Get your crits back, your crit back. Concentration current turn, you want more concentration. You want to be super concentrated and focused. Come here! Holy crap. Holy fucking hell. <laughs> what was this fight? Oh my god. Uh, wish the focus bars would show numbers? Yeah, me too. Did not expect you to win this fight so easily. <laughs> I would not call that easily. We lost one and we almost full wiped. <laughs> oh my god, that was so close to disaster. I think we get one more poisonous crits for a new guy. We also want tyrant crits, but we just don't have it. And swamper, no. Please, no. Oof. <laughs> Only one down? Yeah, that's pretty good. That was also our only medicine. If anyone else died, then we would be down in medicine. We would probably have to run to the black market to buy. But this way at least, it's pretty solid. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright, new guy. Alright, get in here, Kale. Mm, what do you get? Great reflexes, or more damage, or nothing. That are the only two options, right? Yeah. So you either get a rare silver for higher damage output, or quick reflexes. I think the reflexes, you're not gonna be a strength though. 45, hmm. That was very good. Hey, thanks, I'll smile. <laughs> It was very close also. Mm, he gets the Aegis Mutator for now, I think. Aegis is not banned for this run. Thankfully. Um, he's most likely gonna be another focus generation build, eventually. But I don't have uh, another Brilliant Mind right now. I only have the one. I would ha like him to have another Brilliant Mind. But he will probably have to wait until we face Forsaken. Maybe we can get a brilliant mind off of one of the fortresses. I would like to take on a Forsaken Fortress on map 1 once we're ready. We're not ready right now. Mm, probably gets like Vigorous or something. Build some Sharp Eyes. I'm building a Sharp Eyes level 10 to hopefully deal with uh, Swamp Spearmen. Specifically for this one unit, I build a sharp eyes level 10. I spent 440 life essence just to deal with this one unit. <laughs> Nothing else. It's not gonna be useful for anything else, ever. Like maybe some forsaken sometimes with the helmet and stuff. 
but like Valdor are unpierceable. Necros don't have armor. Uh, Swampers only have armor on on Swamp Spearmen. This is the only unit we're building it for. And then there's Forsaken, which have like the occasional armor. Bounty Hunter, there's no armor on them. <laughs> it's just this one unit. But he's gonna wipe us if we don't. One more village and we are ready for Valdors. Oh my god. I have no fucking clue how to deal with Valdor. And I have no idea how to deal with the last fight. <laughs> I think we have to do... um. What we have to do eventually is a, a Devil's Pact scam. So we're gonna we're gonna farm for Devil's Pact on map two, and we're just gonna throw like on the final boss. We probably rig it so we pull the final boss, and we just Devil's Pact him twice, once for Immortal and then once again. <laughs> That's gonna be our plan. The percentage of sharp eyes goes up. Yeah, it was changed. So it used to be 40% flat and a static mutator, but now it's a scaling one. It goes up to 100% at level 10, which is why I'm building one. Um, it used to be super strong on assassins when uh, Valdor could still be pierced. But Valdor now has the Valdorian armor, has the, uh, I guess the trade that it cannot be pierced anymore. So sharp eyes is not effective against it. So it doesn't do anything against them. So it's useless. But in our run, it's going to be pretty hype. And when you could still pierce Valdors, uh, you could just give uh, sharp eyes level 10 to an assassin and bleeding crits to an assassin. And he would just walk up to any Valdor and one shot them. <laughs> he would like with backstabs and uh, murdering sense. He would just uh, bleeding crits them to death, just as he would on map one. He would just ignore all the armor in the world, and would just bleeding crit uh, like a Valdo shield bearer to death in one turn. They can't get pierced. No, they cannot. Yeah, it got changed. They cannot get pierced anymore, so they are immune to acid and piercing, and they have fifty percent increased armor. <laughs> uh, what's the last one here? Hmm. We have two fast thinker already. We don't want a third. Kind of. We kind of do. Um. So he is gonna be a focus guy also. So we ha we're gonna have um one birdie guy for traps, one damage guy, uh two focus. Then we're gonna have one tank, and then the last one I don't know yet. The tank will have um hopefully necro skin at some point. And he will have the reward from from map two, uh, from the boss on map two, the meat shield for fifty percent damage reduction. Like stacking, uh, whenever an enemy dies by eight percent. Hmm, I do want fast thinker, I think. So this is counterproductive. You usually don't want to do this. Fast thinker uh, provides you with your focus ability at the start of battle. And you only have five slots for um, for focus ability on your bar. So if you have three fast thinker, then one gets dropped out randomly. And that's very likely that our crit will get dropped out, which will hurt us. But I want to get him on absorbing this because um, one of our fast thinkers is on the priest and he has this by mutation fast thinker. Um, and he will get swapped out. So eventually, those are the two people who will, uh, who will run the fast thinker. One will for sure run the Aegis, and he wants the fast one. Uh, this is like guaranteed. There's no question. We want one Aegis generator. This is how we scam the game, and he will want blood strength. Um, eventually, this will be a blood strength, and we also want to fast thinker that. We want to have blood strength and Aegis ready, I think. So those are two good targets. Also, those will be our focus guys. So it's just natural that they have the best focus uh, abilities we have. Um, so we do this not because it helps us now, but because it helps us later. And I don't know about vigorous and poisonous though. I think we do sudden strikes. Sudden strikes is very good on focus generation builds. They get an extra attack and they get generate more. They get uh, full focus all the time, right? Eventually. I'm not sure about poisonous crits, though. Maybe.
maybe we just go stalwart. But poisonous crits would help us now to actually do something. If he doesn't have poisonous crits, then he doesn't do anything. <laughs> hmm. Maybe. We could also absorb stalwart. Get on absorbing. This is the greedier route. Do we want to be greedy? I think we go full greed. Perfect. Right, what do we do now? We have to eventually return to the black market to buy more medicine. If we don't find any. Uh, fortresses are very sketchy with zero medicine and our setup. Caravan under attack. I would like to do that. Mm, they're blocking us. I want to wait for 5 days for sure. He cannot die. This is game over if he dies. I don't think we care about days. Like, there's not much we can do about days. I don't want to go here and be cornered by the by those guys, so let's wait. Hope they don't come up here. Three. Two. One. Well crafted iron stuff plus one. A hey. way to go. Okay, we want to do this for um for the mutator. We're healthy again. Alright. 